and forecasting method so we are uh, we are in quantitative forecast in discussion of quantitative forecasting method so this video we are going to discuss about uh, the regression analysis so uh, uh, regression analysis or regression equation so this is one of the uh, regression equation it is the statistical method which is used to uh, estimate the demand future demand so in this method the demand function for a product is estimated where demand is dependent where dependent variable and the variable that determines the demand are independent variable so here uh, what is the independent variable what is the dependent variable these are all available so that part we will come later before that linear regression is a statistical method used to, to help uh, help predict the future values from past values so predict the future value means here it is called demand forecasting uh, by using the past value past value means past, uh, past sales details we are getting the data from that by using statistical method we are estimating it is commonly used uh, as a quantitative way to determine the underlying trend when prices are overextended so this is called this is a quantitative method so already qualitative quantitative classification so this is belongs to quantitative uh, demand forecasting so here again we are uh, taking the past sales and uh, we work out the future uh, future demand so here the overall regression equation it is available it is y equal to a plus bx right a plus bx this equation we are going to use for regression equation to estimate the demand so here s is the independent variable that is the number of sales calls right whereas y is the dependent variable it is number of deals closed so for uh, constant a and b we have uh, equations y equal to y bar minus b into x bar so uh, uh, y bar means the average y bar so we have many values uh, sales observation so uh, for example different period we will get y we are making average y value so average y value it is called y bar similarly the average of x it is called x bar right uh, here we are calculating the b b value first so x bar summation of x by n y bar summation of y by n so by substituting in this equation we are going to estimate a and b then finally we will substitute into your equations uh, coming to the little background information about the regression equation so here uh, regression equation so this is like your uh, uh, value x axis and y axis so here x axis we have a, a dependent variable y axis you have a independent variable so there um, uh, your equation regression equation it will uh, come in y equal to a plus bx so where a is the intercept a is the intercept this value it is available from 0 to the uh, the point where the line starts and similarly the b is slope slope means it is a trend uh, so a and uh, intercept so uh, a intercept b slope so these are all we need to calculate the equation for calculating intercept and slope it is given here uh, a equal to y bar minus bx so y, uh, y bar minus b x bar x bar means summation of x by n sum of the x value divided by number of x so you will get uh, x bar value similarly y summation of y by n if you are substituting a and uh, if you are substituting x bar and uh, y bar value you will get the equation again you have other equation to determine the b value also so summation of x into y minus n into x bar y bar divided by summation of x square minus n x bar square so uh, uh, substituting our x and y values uh, data given here and you uh, determine the b then you substitute the value b here and uh, y bar and x bar you can estimate the a so later on a b value we are going to substitute into equation y equal to a plus b x so this is the uh, simple procedure to estimate the demand forecast uh, the demand forecasting the problems it will be available in the continuation of video please see that also so now we are going to solve the problem in regression analysis uh, this regression analysis it is a econometry model for estimating the demand forecasting so econometry means all the economic factors within the business uh, we are uh, uh, factors we are converting into equation and going to solve the problem so this is what uh, uh, the basis of the method anyway econometric uh, based demand forecasting it is already available so we will see uh, a firm believes that so now uh, the, uh, this problem they are giving a firm believes that 
its annual profit depends on its expenditure for research the information for uh, proceeding 6 year is given below estimate the profit when expenditure is 6 unit so this problem uh, they are estimating the forecasting the profit right uh, uh, forecasting the profit so profit is a uh, expenditure profit this are all the econometric model we are um, right we are uh, by uh, this profit expenditure everything we are formulating into an equation and uh, we are solving the problem so this is a uh, economic forecast what is called a profit forecast so uh, here again you look at the problem so here uh, your firm clearly telling that annual profit depends on its expenditure for research right and uh, annual profit is directly proportional to expenditure for research the information for uh, preceding 6 year is given below estimate the profit when the expenditure is 6 unit that means expenditure for 6 uh, unit 6 unit uh, estimate the profit when expenditure is 6 uh, unit uh, here they are asking 1995 right if you are spending expenditure for research 6 uh, unit what would be the annual profit so this is your required data right uh, now i will proceed with the equation so here uh, we are going to take the equation y equal to a plus bx so this is the regression equation where b equal to summation of xy that means capital xy because here you have x so this you have capital y summation of xy minus n into x bar minus uh, sorry x bar into y bar divided by summation of x square minus n into x bar square uh for a for a y bar minus b x bar uh so now so uh, we are going to substitute in this equation for estimating this so we are going to uh form the table so we are uh, drawing the table so here we are writing here capital x capital y capital xy x bar uh, x x bar square i mean yeah we are writing the year 1989 1990 1991 1992 1993 1994 mm, here you have total so now i am writing x value 2 3 5 4 11 and y value 20 25 34 30 40 50 60 So now x into y 40, 3 into 25 75, 34 into 5 170, 4 into 30 120, 11 into 4 44 440, uh, 35 into 5 155. So here again x square, x square whatever value here we are making square, right? Uh, 4, 3 into 3 9, 5 into 5 24. 4 into 4 16 11 into 11 121 uh, yeah 5 into 5 25 so here we need to put summation so uh, x y usually we are drawing here you look at that whatever summations available here so that column we need to put it so finally if you are summing all those things you will get a summation of x y similarly here you have summation of x square it is there so x uh, we are squaring here so now we are going to sum total is sum sum of uh, uh, x equal to uh, 5 10 uh, 14 so totally 30 uh, summation of this is 180 summation of this is 1000 summation of x square is 200 right so now uh, next step 
we are going to determine x bar and y bar x bar value here you have summation of uh, x by n some x bar equal to summation of x value is 30 30 divided by totally 1 2 3 4 5 6 30 by 6 5 so x bar equal to 5 uh, similarly y bar equal to y bar equal to uh, summation of y divided by 6 180 divided by 6 uh, which is equal to 30 so y bar equal to 30 so this is x bar this is y bar so now we are going to now we determined all the values we are going to substitute into this equation summation of uh, b equal to summation of xy summation of xy we have 1000 minus um, n into x bar into y bar n is 6 x bar is uh, yeah 5 then y bar is 30 divided by summation of x bar this is 200 and uh, n is 6 x bar square you have uh, x bar is 5 uh, 5 into 5 25 um, b equal to 1000 minus 30 into 30 900 divided by 200 minus uh, 6 into 25 150 so b equal to uh, 100 by 50 b equal to 2 so now we are going to we are going to uh, determine the a determine the a so equation for a equal to uh, y bar minus b into x bar y bar into b what is the y bar value 30 minus what is the b value 2 what is the x bar value is 5 so a equal to 30 minus 10 a equal to 20 so now uh, in this equation we determined a value b value a value and b value so uh, let us make the equation what is the a value 20 uh, plus uh, b value b value is 2 into x so this is the equation we have changed so now what is our requirement here they are asking 1995 if expenditure is 6 what would be the profit so they are giving x they are asking us to determine the y so therefore y equal to y 1995 equal to 20 plus 2 into what is the x value 6 uh, y 1995 equal to uh, 20 plus 12 y equal to 32 y 1995 equal to 32 so finally i am writing the summarized value write uh, y equal to 32 so here you can write uh, if expenditure is 6 unit y is 32 uh, annual profit y is 32 units so this is the answer thanks for watching